Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update on my Invisalign. Um, <clears throat> I haven't done an update, or I didn't do an update, I should say, for my third set of trays. Um, and that was just because I was really busy. Right now I'm on my fourth set of trays, or aligners. And um, I'll just tell you about my experience with both of those. I just popped my trays back in so I have a little bit of a lisp. So pardon my lisp. Okay. So... Between the first set of trays, which I had already explained in a previous video, if you want to see that, and my second set of trays, there was a pretty big difference in how they were. My third set of aligners was like the start of my bite changing. And um, <clears throat> it was like I would pop my trays in, and with my third set of trays, when I, pop, when I put them in, and I just to see how they'd fit, and I pulled them back out, I thought my camera just went out for a second. <laughs> that was weird. Um, <clears throat> when I put them in and I pulled them back out, one of the attachments that's over here in the back came out with it. It, like, broke off. So I contacted my doctor and let her know, and she said there was no, like, immediate rush for me to get it back on and to just keep wearing the aligner and um, put it back on when I saw her next because I, um, I work with her a couple days a week. <clears throat> so I got it put back on and everything was fine. But I actually didn't get it put back on until I picked up my fourth, fifth, and sixth set of trays from her. Because um, that's just the way that it worked out. But anyway, so I went the first, like, or pretty much the whole time with the third set of trays without the new, well, without the new aligner put back in. I guess it was probably about a week or, or a week and a half in. Because I did get my fourth, fifth, and sixth trays um, all together a few days before I was supposed to start my fourth tray. So anyway, I, I did get it fixed. But putting in the third liners, they felt tight, like there was immediate movement when I put them in. And I noticed a lot more tightness in, than in the first and second set. So I felt like they were really going to start moving things. And my teeth were a little bit sore, but not as much as like the initial first getting used to them. Um, and I did get used to them throughout that time. But what I was noticing was like my bite was changing. It felt like I wasn't closing all the way on my back teeth and I was biting on my front teeth. And this made me really worried because I was afraid it was going to stay like that even though I know I'm supposed to trust it and I should know that they're not going to set me up for a bad bite in the end. But it did make me worried because I was thinking if it doesn't fix and it stays like this, I'm going to be causing a bunch of wear on my front teeth because I felt like I was only biting on those front teeth. It was hard to eat. It felt like I could never really bite together, um, especially something that was soft. Like let's say a piece of ham or turkey, um, like a slice, from, like deli slice, I felt like I wouldn't be able to chew that apart. It would just kind of stay in one big piece, which was weird. Um, and then throughout that whole set of having the third aligners, like the two weeks, I felt like um, the bite kept switching. Like it would, I'd bite down on these two front teeth and then I'd bite down on some teeth over here and it was just different every single time or like I should say every single day, actually changed quite a bit. And then it somehow like worked itself out toward the end of those two weeks with that third aligner. So then I switched to my fourth one and moved on to the fourth one. And those ones trying to pop them in, that was like, I could tell there was going to be a lot of movement. It felt like um, my canine, the tooth in front of it and the two teeth behind it, I felt like those ones were all being pushed back immediately when I popped it in. I could feel the pressure of it. Um, the rest of it just felt tight on the top and the bottom, but those ones specifically felt like they were moving back. And then the strangest thing happened. Those teeth were super sore for two or three days, and then that stopped. And then I felt like I was only biting on these back teeth. And currently, like when I bite, it feels like I'm biting on my back molars on both sides and when I take the aligners out this back bottom tooth my back molar down here is very very sore and I don't know if it's because it's taking the like brunt of the biting or wear or you know like I'm clenching or grinding it or something but that tooth hurts when I take my trays out and then about half an hour after having it out they, that pain goes away but now, once again, for the time period that I've been having this fourth set of trays, because this Friday I'll be switching to my fifth set of trays, um, my bite has completely changed again. It went from being in the front to 
um, feeling like I was biting on this side first to feeling like I was biting on this side first. And it's just really strange how your bite changes throughout these two weeks as teeth are slowly kind of moving around. You know, just the small movement of a cusp tip of your tooth, like a biting tip of your tooth, can change how your bite fits together and make it feel very, very off. And I know that from when we do crowns and restorations and stuff like that. I know the smallest little part of a filling or restoration or crown can cause someone's bite to really be painful or feel different or whatever. So I already knew kind of what was going on, that the teeth were just kind of shifting. But um, it's starting to come together now as I'm in toward the end of this, like, second week in my fourth aligners. I'm excited to go to my fifth aligners. It feels like... When I think back now, it feels like it's gone really fast, although <clears throat> when like every day that went by previously, I was like, oh man, this is going so slowly, I just want to be done. And it's only because I feel like when I'm in public, even though they're clear, I still feel like I have this lisp, and with every new set of trays, I have to like reteach myself how to say S's without sounding like I have a lisp like that. Um, so it's hard because you don't just like get used to it. Every set of trays is different and you have to like reteach yourself how to speak pretty much and dictate. Well, F's and S's and, um, T's can be sometimes hard to say for some reason. Um, if you hear noise, my cat's digging for his toy on the floor. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to be onto like my fifth set of trays. I have 10 total if you haven't watched my other videos. And, um, I'm, I'm slowly starting to see movement. What I do is compare my newest trays to, like, my previous tray, and then I also compare it to my very first tray to see how far along I am. And I know that there's movement, although I stare at myself, like, my teeth in the mirror quite a bit. So, like, it's one of those things where, like, you lose weight and you don't really notice what other people do. Um, that's the same with my teeth. Other people have said they feel like my teeth look a little bit straighter. Hi, buddy. And then, and but I feel like they kind of look generally the same. Although I know that there's movement because my bite is, um, you know, changing frequently throughout the course of two weeks. It's really exciting. Um, well, I, shouldn't, I don't know if like exciting is the right word, but it's really neat when you start out with a set of trays and they feel so tight trying to put them on and you're like, these don't fit at all. And then after the two weeks are like almost up, you're just popping them in and out so easily and you just, you realize how much your teeth have moved, even though it is re really, really, really small increments. And that's just because that's as fast as your teeth can move. You have to understand, like, you can't just pull your teeth where they need to go and hope that they're going to stay. It's a, it's a bone building and breaking down process. So that being said, I'm still happy doing it. Um, I'm really exhausted with cleaning them. Um, I'm so OCD about it, but I mean, when you think about it, you are, you're brushing them every time you're like brushing your own teeth. Because when you take them out, you want to brush them and then you take them out to eat and you brush your teeth. So every time you brush your teeth or, you know, your trays, you're, you're brushing both of them is what I'm saying. So you're doing it twice. So it gets really frustrating in the morning to brush your teeth and the trays. It feels like you're brushing your teeth two times and then for lunch and then for dinner. So when you think about it, if you do it only three times a day, which I do it at least four or five, I want to say, um, then you're really brushing eight to ten times a day because you're doing it times two. So it's just, it's exhausting and it takes forever and it's a lot of planning about like what's a good time to do it and what's not. And I've had a little bit of trouble. Like I wake up in the morning for work and I take my trays out, I brush them, I brush my teeth, and then I eat while I'm on my way to work. So then I need to brush and floss my teeth again. So if I am in a hurry or I'm still drinking my coffee at work or whatever, I'll see my first patient and then after that I might not have time to go brush my teeth or something like that. So I feel like I don't want to put my trays back in so I just don't. And I'm like, oh, I'll see my next patient and then I'll brush and floss then. But then that doesn't happen so things get delayed and then I end up having my trays out longer than I should, um, which is bad. But uh, I just, I need to get on a better routine of that. So. I know that's probably useless to other people, but maybe you have something that's preventing you from getting your Invisalign trays in or whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know how your Invisalign treatment's going. If you have any questions, post them down below. I can, if I can't personally answer them, I'll ask one of my doctors um, that I work for who can, 
And um, I'm going to be taking, I believe, an Invisalign seminar with my dental office just to really start to get, it, know, get to know a whole bunch of information about it because that's how I'm doing it. I'm doing it through my work. And, um, yeah, and so I should be able to answer any questions. I just, like, went from, like, sitting tall to, like, really hunching over because I'm petting my little buddy down here. My cat's sitting on my lap now. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up if you think this video was helpful. I'll let you guys know an update soon of how my fifth set of trays is going and that will be like when I start my sixth trays I will be at my halfway mark so I'm excited about that so I'll see you guys in my next video bye